Uh, what, what, what these were, were for, basically, they were for used as a safety check, a bit like a tag in the army, like an identity disc, really. And any, any man who took a lamp, he took one of these with him, or two actually. One was what he gave him when he was going down, and one he kept on his person and gave him when he came up. Usually, usually the brass one, one was alloy. And that's what it was, it was a safety check system, so they knew in the colliery where you was, and in the event of an explosion, each man had a number. And he, God forbid if he was unrecognised, it would have been a disaster or something, they didn't know with that who was who. Was who. That's what it basically was for. And them come out about, about 1840, 1850, but every, every colony didn't have them. I don't know what, 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 uh, what they used then in place of them, but, you know, some colonies didn't use them, but some did. And then, then, then like, in 19... 20th century, more it became, became like a law that they all had to, to use these colony checks. You know, the, the officials, the deputies, uh, the overmen, you know, the bosses, like, they also had the lower numbers. The manager would be number one, and then all his followers and entourage would be two, three, four, up to whatever, and he had and then. And then they'd start from like uh, probably 120 upwards a bit men, you know what I mean? It becomes a kind of identity. Yeah, the identity. Even after you've worked at the colliery, like an identity thing, you relate to it. If you hear the number anyway, it's like, you know, like aren't you a little bit? Yeah. You can't get the 437 four, bus. Well, you can get on a 347. That's right. And, and that'll be, you know, it's a little bit in your face when you hear it.